Welcome back to my channel. My name's Mariah and I'm a real estate agent here in the beautiful state of Oregon. And today I'm going to be chatting about a few towns that I work in often that are right outside of Salem. They're all pretty desirable areas. And I'm gonna chat about the differences between each town, the size, and what you might wanna know if you are thinking about buying somewhere that's near Salem, but not necessarily in Salem. Before we get started, if you or someone you know is thinking about moving to Oregon, I would love to be your realtor of choice. If you do not already have one, feel free to share me an email here's my email address right here um, so I wrote down a few notes in my phone and I'm just gonna read off to you guys what I wrote about these different towns so the first town we're gonna talk about is Almsville the population in Almsville is about 4,000 people um, this is a super cute little community it's actually located in the Cascade School District where I went to school um, great schools if you're um, wanting more of a smaller family community feel for a school for your for your children and even though they're a smaller school district they still do have really great sports pro programs sports programs I can't talk if that is important to you um, the next little town that I work in often that you might be interested in if you're thinking about moving to the Salem area I'm gonna clump these three together they're not the same obviously they're three different towns but um, there's Independence Monmouth and Dallas they're all very close to each other um, they're right next to each other Independence is right next to West Salem and Monmouth is right next to that Monmouth is where Western Oregon University is it's a college town they both have some cute little downtown areas with some shopping and um, restaurants like not big downtown areas by any means they're small towns but um, cute areas to explore and then Dallas Dallas is um, is right past Monmouth and Dallas is larger than both of those towns it's the largest of the three and there's about 16,000 people living in Dallas is the is the population right now so all of those towns you're gonna have a little bit better prices than you are in Salem if you're looking for something like a desirable smaller town but still um, a little bit more affordable Silverton is the next one the prices here have actually gone up quite a bit it's a very desirable town to live in um, in my mind the only downside to Silverton is the fact that it is a 30 minute drive to I-5 and so if that's important to you if you commute somewhere then that might not be the best decision for you but um, if that isn't that big of a deal Silverton could be a really great option it's an adorable town it's known for having excellent schools has a really great farmers market and has a super cute downtown as well um, the population is about 10,000 people in Silverton and then the last town I'm going to talk about is Albany. This is the largest of all of those like small towns that are on the outskirts of Salem. But again, the prices are still going to be a little bit lower here in Albany than they are in Salem. Um, Albany is about 15 to 35 minutes south of Salem, depending on what side of Albany you're going to and what side of Salem you're coming from. Um, the population is about 55,000 people, but it does have a Costco, has some parks, and has some really great schools in the Albany area as well. And Albany is a great option if you are someone who commutes to either Salem or Corvallis. It's not far from either of them. It's kind of in the middle of the two. So Corvallis is is south of Albany. So um, it's a really great town if you want something a little more affordable and you want to commute to those towns because the prices in Corvallis have gone up even more and are even higher than here in Salem. So Albany might be a great affordable option for you if you are working on a budget. Those are the towns. If you have any other towns that you want me to talk about on my channel or you have questions about, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to chat with you about that and I hope that everyone has a great day. I'll see you next time.